Kevin Seven. Kevin, ti mai qua cosa la San Jinsa Dignan? I knew it. And it happened 18th of October at 15:41. Wow. Oh my god. So many things I want to say. First of all, massive thank you to everyone for the support, ongoing support, for to the people who have been there with me from day one to the very last guy who made it happen to, or a girl of course, to make it happen to hit a million. It's incredible. When I started this journey over eight years ago, I uh, never expected that this would be uh, possible. And even now it's kind of like, it's still in a way a number. And when we look at the statistics, here we see the 1st of January this year, we were barely over 400,000 and now we are at a million. So massive, massive thank you. Now, there should be, of course, a big celebration and I have something in the works. The problem is, as you can see, it happened significantly faster than I could have anticipated. The number of subs are growing so crazy fast. So the celebration, will happen towards December because I'm working on something. I made a very big move that is the biggest move in my entire life, in my entire career. So you have to wait for that. And for today, to celebrate, there's going to be a video with a GT3 RS, uh, I would say the car of the year. And no, I haven't bought one. Uh, it's even bigger than that, bigger than GT3 RS. One more time, thank you very much. The celebration video with giveaways and big announcements and everything will follow. And for now, guys, enjoy the video, and I'm off to celebrate with a leg day. Congrats! <laughs> mm. Thank you, guys, for everything. Mm. That was absolutely insane. That was crazy, man. It was. That was crazy. The best day, probably, definitely of the best, year. Best One day, of the... literally best day, man. <laughs> yeah. That was unexpected. What about Unbelievable, you? man. Honestly, it's, the, it's you're an incredible driver. The car is unreal. Unreal, man. <laughs> it's, Unbelievable. It's, it, yes. This was probably the best day of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, for me, pretty, pretty close. Uh, I think when I proposed to Maggie, it was actually one of the best. You know, when you, when you think it was safe. When you he think said it was something safe. different in the car, I think. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna tell you everything about the car, about our experiences, show you our laps. But first of all, actually, aside from welcome back to the channel, look at that. We have new merch to honor the car of the year, pretty much, of Nürburgring, of the channel. The 992 RS is quite fitting. Can you show me the back? Because uh, awesome. look at that. So check out the link in the video description and here use Misha10 discount code to get 10% off. We have also hoodies. And now back to the car. Well, before we left it, we also took it to Manta Racing to do the alignment settings and corner weighting. What was the financial damage? It was like 799? 721 euros. 721? After that. After, after, after that. that. So the car was laser aligned, corner weighted, the sway bars were set to also track setting, and it's no secret in terms of value. We even have here the manual book. It comes with, with the car itself that shows you the ideal values. The toe on the front is two minutes, on the rear is plus 10 minutes. The camber is minus 2.45 on both axles. The ride height is minus three millimeters on both front and rear. We were asked by Manta Racing also to fill up the car completely. So they have the optional, what is it, 90 liter tank? Yeah, of course. Of course. And asked also how many people will be usually in the car. In this case, both of you most of the time. Yep. So we set up the car, or Manta has set up the car to roughly 100, I think 45 kilos in total. And this was done in case to make sure that the right height would be optimal. And in the worst case scenario with a full tank and two passengers that the car would not bottom out. Now the funny thing is, is that in Flans Garden actually the car did bottom out, but this is because we have the jumps and uh, me alone is 100 kilos, so maybe like those extra 30 kilos off margin, <laughs> <laughs> we can blame it on the, on the pancakes. But yeah, regarding the car, I mean you will see everything on the video when we were driving, even Adrian came back from Switzerland to, uh, how was it? It was great. Most yeah. Nürburgring day ever. Yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. Right now we're waiting for the sunset to come down. 
about the car, the technical specs and everything, I don't think I need to go over it because majority of you know it and uh, if you don't then please check out the video in the video description where I took out the car in Spa for three days to get with Porsche track experience where we went over all the details and everything. Now interesting conclusion, back then when I made the video I said if I'm one day fortunate enough to get one in terms of allocation and everything I will probably only drive it on track days because the car is simply too fast and for TF with the traffic it's also kind of dangerous with other traffic potential oil spills we've seen so many this year and today that assumption has been confirmed because the traffic was quite horrendous, it was horrendous. It was horrendous. but those were those are combination of like slow cars fast cars and the thing is you're coming up so fast the speed differences are so insane that it actually is the car's fault it's not the other people's <laughs> fault it's Porsche fault stop building fast cars this is insane so it is an absolute cheat mode. The thing is, we did quite some laps, like three with you three, per person, three. and then I did one with Adrian, so seven, uh, many sections. It took quite some laps to be able to do certain sections the way I wanted to do, like Schwedenkreuz wasn't free. I think Foxhole, we only had one time clear on the warm-up lap, so the tires were not optimal. I was not confident enough to push it. The question, again, I mean, we already experienced it on a passenger seat earlier this year with Christoph Breuer from Manti Racing. Do you need the RS? Uh, of course, if you can get one, you can afford one, this is the ultimate car out there. Hands down. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. On the other hand, I have to be honest, it also becomes in a way boring. You drive it like, extremely fast, then you're just faster than anything out there, and then you're gonna be like, okay, pushing your boundaries and car's boundaries, and then it becomes dangerous. Kind of, in a way. Ah, so this is the ultimate track day car, absolutely the fastest car out there. <laughs> Would you be as happy enough with just a GT3? GT4 RS is out of the question because I really dislike the grip levels on the front axle except for the like MR version or SSR version uh, when you have the modified axle and you can actually confirm as yeah, yeah, owners yeah. of That's RS. question I ask, <laughs> yeah. or, uh, do you like it? And, no, like, yeah. it, it doesn't feel steady and yeah. Our GT4 RS, our GT4 RS does not compare to the GT4 no, RS. No, it's, it's insane, insane, no, it's exactly. insane, exactly. And this is probably like the car with the highest mileage of European delivery cars I've seen. Don't it's say like, that. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've done four and a half thousand kilometers. In you're, seven days. In seven days, you're driving it. You're not How like. Can you not? Exactly. It's the car's fault again. And that's amazing. It's the car's fault again. And by the way, also not sure if you see it, the car does not have a cage. Thank you, S. Thank you, US, but it's actually good because you can have luggage with you here, etc, etc. So every downside has its upside, every upside has its downside. Final thing, important to mention, we are on Cup 2s. So we're not on Cup 2Rs and for the rest, yeah, it's uh, carbon fiber, well, well PCCB, brakes, uh, WISAC package, some zon zon Sonderwunsch options, so like the, the front bumper is painted a la Touring and a couple of things here and there. But uh, yeah, who cares about spec? We drive cars here, but they look good as well, but driving is more important. So I don't know even like what to say. At the end of the day, everyone decides for themselves uh, what car they like, what they like to drive, how they like to drive. But yeah, this is, at this point, the ultimate car out there. And I guess in a few years time, we're gonna be blessed by the GT2 RS version, which has been more or less confirmed um, secretly. So that's going to be the next level. However, knowing with the previous differences with the 3RS and 2RS, 2RS is of course faster, but just marginally and in terms of keep on lapping it you're gonna overheat the tires with the 2RS with all the extra torque after one lap so I think this is the car to get so hopefully when a Mark II comes out these might drop in prices and become more accessible or if you're gonna get that location anyway long story short this was the best day of our lives it pretty was. much 100% and easy, <laughs> easy. yes yeah. Easy. yeah yeah and um, that's all you need to know so thank you Porsche for, for making uh, grown-up kids like us this happy here at the Nürburgring and you guys enjoy the laps.
traffic, but not too bad for a warm up lap. Uh, no, that was good. It's so impressive. I'm reminded of our experience in Spa, how well, how difficult it is to get the heat in a tire. Usually they shoot up by 0 0.5, 0 0.7 bar, but now 0 0.2 because there is so much air coming through the front. Aero is not only good for the downforce, but also to cool your brakes, and in this case the tires.
don't even know which there was like two moments where I'm like there's no road in front of us man yeah. and they're like there's no road like we're not making this right like there's no way we got like airborne no we were <laughs> yeah we should have a picture of that I'll ask the photographer because I asked him to stand there especially for, for me for tonight Dude. but G-Force are cool 1.8 uh, lateral left and right yeah. 1.9 on the braking and acceleration is just like 0 0.8 <laughs>
I'm done. Yeah. So my Nürburgring experience is now done. So <laughs> my God, it was the best lap I've ever had. Good. <laughs> There's no point of going in like in any other cars for for lap. It's going to be boring. True. Mm. My God. This is a cheat code. It's it's really a cheat code. It's like you know, matter what you do with it. Yeah. It's wild. My legs hurt because of the pushing against the, the floor. Yeah, you're missing the four-point harnesses a lot with this because you really need to hold yourself back. Oh my god. That's the only downside. But I mean, yeah, I guess every car deserves to have a downside. Blame US for the non-cage spec.